So I am Lars Valentin. I was the principal investigator of the Plato study, and we are presenting results in relation to biomarkers and how they might be used to identify patients who benefit from early invasive treatment versus a more medical treatment in acute coronary syndromes. We were using three biomarkers, troponin, anti-proBMP, and a new biomarker, GDF15. It turned out that all these three interacted with the results of an invasive versus non-invasive treatment, and we could develop a new risk score combining these biomarkers with clinical factors such as previous MI, previous stroke, <coughs> previous peripheral arterial disease, and diabetes and age. And taking these together with the biomarkers, we could identify patients at high, intermediate, or low risk. And the low risk patient really had no benefit at all from an early invasive treatment strategy. Some were even harmed, and therefore around one third of these patients <coughs> maybe should not be brought to the cath lab. One third had a high risk and need, did an urgent invasive procedure, and then there is an intermediate group. And we think that by using this combination of biomarkers, we could really have a better cost-benefit when we take patients to invasive treatment in acute coronary syndromes. Uh, yeah, the GDI-15 is a new one, so we de have developed that over the last few years and showed in previous materials that it is related to <coughs> ischemic events and mortality in patients with acute coronary syndrome. It has never been applied before for this purpose, so therefore we need to validate this, and we plan to publish this material together with the validation material showing that these three biomarkers are really the key ones to identify these patients, together with a few clinical observations.